gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and very appreciative of you guys checking out today's video. Uh, definitely always grateful for that. And today, back by popular demand, we're going to be talking about the five worst lures of the month uh, for the month of May this month. Um, had uh, I did a couple of different May type videos on lures and had a bunch of people request and it's like, where's your five worst lures in of the month deal. I guess a lot of people really like them. So I got the, going to give you guys the five uh, most unproductive lures for the month of May we're going to talk about. And before we get started, guys, I just wanted to invite everybody, if you hadn't had a chance, to uh, consider, become, consider becoming a channel member uh, of Intuitive Angling. And as memberships, you get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public and some access to my personal email address for your fishing questions. And if you're interested on my, on my YouTube, on the homepage, you'll see a little thing that says join. Just click that and it gives you all the information for memberships. It's a good way to support the channel. Much appreciated. Okay, guys, let's get into this. I'm going to go one through five in no particular order of the least productive uh, fish and lures in the month of May and sort of explain a little bit why that is. So right off the bat, let's talk about a uh, lipless crankbait. Guys, lipless crankbait, in my opinion, <clears throat> it sort of uh, starts fading away in, in March, maybe early April. And by the time May rolls around, um, it's one of the least effective lures in my tackle box. I, looking back over all of my years of fishing all over the country, I can count on one hand how many bass I've caught on a lipless crankbait in the month of May. It's just, for me, it just doesn't work very good. And obviously, every one of these baits that I come up with, I'm going to get some comments. Some dudes are going to say, Randy, you're full of it. I rip them on this bait or that bait, this bait. So, <laughs> yeah, there's outliers out there. But for the most part, guys, don't waste your time with a uh, lipless crankbait in May. You're not going to catch much on it. Okay, the second one is a big spinnerbait, a big three-quarter ounce spinnerbait. Now, these are really good just like the lipless crankbait in the pre-spawn. But once that water temperature starts getting around 60 degrees or so, uh, big spinnerbaits to me just don't catch much. I, there's something about the water displacements and the size of them. Um, spinnerbaits are still highly effective in the month of May, but normally... I'm going to like a three eighths or half ounce model with some smaller blades on it. But these big three quarter ounce uh, spinner baits with your larger Colorados and your larger willow leaves, I just don't catch much on them. Now there is one exception. Um, sometimes in the post spawn, you can catch some fish if you're slow rolling over deeper offshore grass beds, but there's very few lakes in the country that are sort of positioned like that. But for the most part, when May rolls around, I'm never throwing a spinner bait over, over half ounce definitely never go to three quarter with the bigger blades on it. Next one guys to talk about is the flat sided crankbait. Uh, flat sided crankbaits are not that great in May. You just can't catch many fish on them for whatever reason. There's a transition as far as in the, the mood and personality of the fish about what they like, the actions of them. And I think a lot of it has to do with the combination of the water temperature and water clarity changes. But for whatever reason, guys, when, uh, again, after the after that water temperature starts hitting about 60 degrees, um, I don't catch much of this specifically in the month of May. Now, there is a window for the flat side in the summertime. Once that water gets really, really hot, there are some situations I've caught them in that. But for the most part, this flat-sided crankbait, the, my flat-sided crankbait box never comes out in the month of May there. Okay, the next one we'll talk about is the jigging spoon. Now this one's fairly obvious. A jigging spoon is probably going to be, if you if you had 50 lures in your box to throw and a jigging spoon was one of them, it's probably going to be the least effective lure in the month of May that you're ever going to have, simply because the fish are not positioned to be caught on a jigging spoon very well in the month of May. They're scattered out a little bit. Um, they're, they're just not positioned for that. I mean, yeah, once in a while, you know, like in June or towards the end of the May, you can catch some some fish on some ledge lakes on a big giant flutter spoon. But as far as the hardcore old school vertical jigging spoon, the three quarter ounce slab spoon, probably one of the most uh, worthless lures for the month of May you're going to have. And finally, guys, is the rock crawler or the wiggle wart. Uh, again, another one of those you know, anomalies or mysteries in the sport of bass fishing that, you know, they sort of go away when that water temperature hits 60 degrees, but it's sort of like with the lipless crankbait. I can count on one. I can't, I can't even count a five fish I've caught in my entire life on a wiggle wart or rock crawler in the month of May. For whatever reason, they just don't like them. They don't bite them very well. Again, it has to do with the wobble profile and action. So anyway, guys, that's my five uh, worst lures the month of May. Lipless crankbait, 
big three quarter ounce spinner bait, wiggle wart, rock crawler, jig and spoon, and a flat sided crankbait. If you're wanting to catch a bunch of fish, do not have any of these tied on because uh, you're you're probably not going to catch and catch much on it. Now, bass are going to hit anything. Obviously, you could probably take these out and catch a few fish on them, but there's going to be other lures that are much more productive. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll talk later.